Lincoln Riley is the brightest young offensive mind in college football. He has been a head coach for six seasons where he has modernized the air raid offense while dominating college football. Starting in Norman, Oklahoma, where he consistently had one of the best offenses in the country, to now being at USC, where in one season he transformed a downtrodden program and had them one game from the college football playoff. Now, what makes him so special is his ability to find quarterback talent and mold his offense around his QB. B. He designs his offense to put the most important player on the team in position to make plays, and this has led him to having three Heisman Trophy winners and four nominees in the last six seasons, and I have recreated this Riley Air Raid offense for you to use in Madden 23. The core of Riley's pass game is the Air Raid offense, and he actually played and coached under the GOAT Mike Leach at Texas Tech. The first air raid essential we are looking at is Y cross in spread flex, and this is my favorite air raid pass concept. Here we want the running back to the short side of the field, then I put the slot receiver on the wide side on a hitch. Our first read here will be the flat and hook defenders on the wide side. If they start to back off at the snap, then we can just quick throw this hitch and pick up those easy yards they are giving you. Then if the flat defender stays down on the hitch, then we want to look to the crosser coming to the wide side, and we can wait till he clears in behind the flat defender and then throw it up along the sideline for a big pickup. Then if at the snap the hitch is taken and the user leaves the middle of the field, then you can quick throw the cross over the middle for a big pickup, forcing the user to stay home. Then if the user commits to running with the cross, then you can look to the backside spot route, and this player will sit down burst zone coverage in front of the deep blue defender and is a great third option on this play. Then lastly, if the flat defender on the short side drops under the spot route, then we have the running back on a swing pass and you can fire it out to him in the flat and let him make a play in the open field for a great fourth option. The air raid is one of the most impactful offensive evolution that has taken place in college football over the past 15 years and it is predicated on having a few key concepts that can be ran in multiple formations. Then you want to spread out your opponent so they have to show their hand defensively and we'll be using the formation spread flex for a ton of our air raid pass plays which is a super common air raid formation and then in a classic air raid offense they wanted to spread the ball out to all of their playmakers and their pass rates tended to be much higher with moving the ball through the air as the primary focus of this offense. The next play we will be looking at is mesh and this is maybe the play most synonymous with the air raid offense and this setup is to beat zone coverage. Here I have the running back to the wide side then I take the backside receiver and put him on an in route and then I'm gonna smart route this route but if you are under seven yards the dig will be too shallow when smart routed so then you can just leave him on the out and up. Now first read the flat defender on the wide side and if he stays inside at the snap then as your out route breaks out just throw it in along the sideline for an easy pickup. Then if the flat defender bites down at the snap and stays shallow on the running back, then once again, throw the out route in along the sideline. Then if the out route is covered, look to the middle of the field and we have our triangle mesh read with the two drags and then the dig over the top. And if the user and the hooks widen out over the middle to go with the drags, then you just want to fire in this dig for a nice pickup. Then for the drag, they will either run completely across the field versus man or match coverage and you can fire it into whichever one is more open and make a play in the open field. Or against zone, these drags will actually hitch up and look for the soft spot in zone coverage and this makes these routes very powerful with their ability to adjust to the defense. So in the air raid pass game the ability to win in the pocket, read out defenses and deliver strikes is the key to running this offense and during Baker Mayfield's time at OU this is where he excelled and he was the first of Lincoln's QBs to take home the Heisman Trophy. So for our offense we need someone who has these capabilities and I'm using Michael Vick who has the arm strength to get it all over the field and we do have set feet lead on him to make sure he can put zip on the ball and make all those tight window throws. Then we're going to look at mesh once again, but now this is going to be our man beating setup. Here have your running back to the wide side and we want to block him to give us more time. And then the only other difference between our zone beating setup is you don't adjust the out and up route. You want to leave it as is on the outside. Then to beat man coverage for this scheme, I have route tech on both of my outside receivers in this spread flex formation. So first look to the out route and as he breaks out, route tech will activate and he will get super consistent separation for easy yards. Then we can also look to the backside out and up route and with route tech when he breaks back over the middle he will separate and you can bomb them over the top for huge pickups this is best when they don't have any safeties back then you can really make them pay and hit this route for huge games then for the check downs on this play we have our two drags and you can just go to whichever one has more separation and you want to rack catch this ball and get upfield now this lincoln riley offense is all part of a bigger scheme i am releasing all built around the modern spread offense that has taken over college football 
football. There are going to be five spread offenses on the way, all from the last 15 years, and they are some of the most explosive and dynamic we have ever seen. Now, let me know down in the comments who you want the five teams to be. Then each one of them will be built in the spread playbook. So they are all actually meant to be used together as one big scheme as they get released. So we are going to be in the spread playbook for this Lincoln Riley air raid offense, and we will be breaking down these three formations. Now, one of the biggest changes Lincoln made to the classic air raid was his run game. He made it a much more vital aspect of his offense and will use it to absolutely bully his opponent if they let him. He loves to use a power run game with pullers getting out in front to spring his back for huge gains, and he loves the guard tackle pull counter run, and this is the bread and butter of his run game. The first run we are going to look at here is counter tray in doubles offset. Here we are going to have the same guard tackle pull that Lincoln likes to use along with this hard counter, and you want to run with patience and really set up these blocks and let them engage and then explode out from behind them when you see an opening and start making plays in the open field. Field. This is an excellent run to get the floor of the defense going one way, and then you can fire out the other way behind a ton of blockers for explosive pickups. Then next, we are looking at Buck Sweep in doubles offset. This is going to be a similar run, but now instead of countering away from the tight end, we are going to go towards him. And now both our guards are going to pull out in front, and once again, let them set up, and you can explode out when you see the hole. Then one of the other keys for this scheme is I use either Puller Elite or Nasty Streak on both of my guards and my right tackle. What this does is when these players pull out, out on power runs, they will get big impact blocks on the edge of the defense, helping to spring us for huge gains. And this is a great way to take this run game to the next level by picking up these explosive blocks on the outside, allowing us to get to the edge. Then the other aspect of Lincoln's run game is the utilization of the QB to flip the numbers in the offense's favor. When Lincoln has had a very athletic QB, this has become a crucial part of his scheme. And when he had Kyler Murray, this is the trump card that he would use to make his offense so deadly. Murray was an absolute terror on the edge and racked up so many huge explosive plays on the ground. And once again, this led him to take home the Heisman Trophy just like Baker Mayfield. And this is why I want to use a mobile QB in this offense like Michael Vick. And he is going to be a big part of making us super explosive offensively. So here we are using read option and split slot. Here you have your slot receiver to the short side. Then you want to motion him across the field and you want to hold R2 as you motion him over. This will allow you to see the read icon player and you want to wait till your slot receiver is over this player then the read icon will leave and as soon as this happens then you want to snap the ball and now this player will be blocked and you can get your QB to the edge of the defense and start racking up huge yards in the open field. This is a great trick to turn read options into QB keepers so even if they play on conservative you can still utilize the QB in your run game and make a ton of plays and add a whole nother element to your run game. Then if you mistime the snap then the R player doesn't get blocked then you can hand it off to the RB and let him get downfield and make plays in the open field. Now, if you want to unlock even more for this scheme, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video where I give you eight more plays out of these three formations. It includes some really explosive run plays, some amazing man-beating options, and then just a ton of other great ways to attack zone coverage. Then there's a ton more on the site, like my Chiefs West Coast spread offense, my Bama defense, and a ton more. Then I'm also running a Christmas sale on the site, so you can use code SPREAD at checkout for 50% off your first month, and this sale will run till January 7th. Then to take this offense to the next level, Lincoln has gotten his hands on the perfect QB in Caleb Williams at USC. He has the ability to be used in the run game and make plays with his legs. He has incredible escape ability to make people miss in the pocket and keep plays alive, and it is his crazy arm talent that really makes him such an exciting college quarterback and a probable number one pick in the NFL draft. And all this once again led him to taking home the Heisman Trophy just like Baker and Kyler. And we really want to bring his ability to push the ball down the field to our offense. Now the first play we're looking at here is PAHB wheel in split slot. And this is a great way to beat zone coverage for big plays. Here have the slot to the short side, then put him on a fade and motion him across the field. Then take the backside receiver and put him on a slant. So after the snap, we will get this play action fake. And then our running back is going to fire out of the backfield and wheel up the field. Then you will see the deep blue defenders will 
will get run off by the streak in the Z post and this flat defender won't turn and run with him. And you can fire this wheel in for a huge pickup down the field. This is a great way to get your running back in behind the defense for some huge pickups down the field. And it is super tough for zone defenses to take away. And we can also look to the Z post and against cover three, you will see the corner on that side will get pulled back by the fade and the deep middle safety will stay deep. And you can throw this Z post in as he cuts over the middle for a really big pickup down the field. Then against cover two, the wide side deep half will get pulled back by the fade then the other deep half will stay shallow and you can fire this in over his head for a huge pickup versus cover two. Then for check downs on this play, if the deep routes are all taken away, we have the slant attack in the middle of the field or we have the other running back sitting down and you can fire it into either one and let them make a play with the ball in their hands. Next, we are looking at smash pivot and doubles offset and this is a great man beating play. Here have the tight end to the short side, then take the wide receiver on the wide side, put him on a whip and motion him in. Then take the wide receiver on the short side and put him on a slant. Here we want to look to the slot receiver first and we have short in a lead on him and our tight end and as he breaks out it will activate and it will allow him to get easy separation as he breaks to the outside. And this route is so great because we are keeping the ball to the outside and away from the user. Next we have the corner route from the tight end and the same thing as he breaks the outside short in will activate and allow you to get super easy separation for a really nice pickup. Then for check downs on this play we have the whip cutting to the outside and we have the slant going over the middle and you can just fire it into whichever one has more separation and pick up some easy yards versus man coverage. Lincoln Riley offense will give you an amazing explosive scheme, but to take it to the next level, you want to combine it with the 2019 LSU Tiger offense that is the best college football has ever seen. They are both in the spread playbook so they can be used together. And if you want to start running this unstoppable offense, then you need to check out this video right here.